Hello again. Well, this is not actually pouring down with rain. We were supposed to have had this, uh, well, 51 hours of rain, apparently. Two days worth, uh, just about, but it didn't come to much. Anyway, it's supposed to rain later, so make the most of it now. What are we doing? Quick blast along the seawall to feed Rufus. And then a bit of a random thing, we've got a load of 1956 hotel adverts to show you. So we're going to track them along the seafront, match them up with the uh, ones that are there, and all good. Wee! First train of the day, smashing. Lido bunnies are back in force. The one there. Another one there. Lovely. And another. They're breeding like rabbits. Didn't go up on the observation deck today because I want to try and get the bulk of the walk done before it does start raining. As I've only got my fleece on, but I've got my hat in my pocket, so it should be okay. That said though, here's some pics from Andy for about the station. Final touches being added now. As you can see, that's the information pole and that, and all the little details have been filled in. Crossing the T's, dotting the I's. Lovely bit of decorating and great colours too. Cheers, Andy. No wind blocker on today either. Lovely. Very sedate little train making its way to Timworth Station. Will we get a two to spray point? Yes, there we are. Nice, happy train. Excellent. Right, let's go find Rufus. You're not Rufus. I'm not feeding you. And as I went to go into the bushes to feed Rufus, I was accosted by Rob and Jackie, who are two subscribers, been coming here on and off for about 20 odd years. And Rob, since he was a small boy, he used to sit on the wall, eat chips and watch the war, warship class trains go by. So there we go, off they go to enjoy Timmouth and off I go to find Rufus. And again, bless his little cotton socks. He's not immediately apparent today, but he may turn up while I'm Hello, there he is, up the top there. I see you, hiding. Right, try and get a proper shot in a minute, to get his food done first. So there we go, there's the food in the feeder, there's the visual, and down here on the floor. Goes the rest of it. So there's plenty down there for him to peck and find. Look at it all. Oh. All good. No, no close-up today, I'm afraid, but I definitely saw him earlier on flitting in the trees above me. Right, time to make my way back to Timmouth now and do these 1956 hotel advertisements. Oh, yes. It's another tucker. I'm still here with James. Jam will do it. Happy train. Hey, I like that sort of happy train. Oh yes, makes me feel happy myself. Here we go, is another one. Still here talking, same place. Happy or not? No, too big to be happy. What a shame. Never mind. Right, 
let's go and get these hotels lined up to their 1956 adverts. And there goes James and Paul, who I've just been talking to. Lovely. Oh, it's time to stop for another train. They're making a lovely noise. Crossover. unexpected little treat let's crack on with these photos now we'll never get them done I'll spend all day down here feeding robins and watching trains right so I'm going to try and keep this sequence fairly concise just stick to the locations themselves but I will of course get a little bit of footage in between them so you can see how they all join up together now the first and only one of the section that I can't line up well, I could line up, but I'm not going all the way up there. It's Eastley House. That's on first drive in Tynmouth. And uh, to give you a reference where that is in relation to my walks, when I go up Mules Park, sometimes I go into the orchard. As you know, a little community orchard at the end. Well, it would be behind the orchard in Mules Park. So that would be the first one. On the big Dawlish Road coming down in, you get first drive comes off, and that would be that one. But that's the first one. Right, so we're coming down here. And I'll line up the second one, which I'm sure you will all be very, very familiar with. Here we go, surprise, surprise. It's the Thornhill in 1956. Lovely. Right, so I want to carry on along. Next location, just the other side of St. Michael's Church. And here we go, this yellow one. Well, it's now called Lime Bay House. It was originally Ocean's Hotel. Here it is in 56. And although it looks the same, you can also see it's the same because you can just make out the, uh, the post in the picture, which is just visible there behind the Connell's for sale sign to do with the church. Right, further along now, onto the main drag. And our next three locations are all quite close together. Along here, on the Upper Den Promenade, whatever you want to call it. Here we go. See the big pink building in front of us, currently called Seacroft Court. Flats as usual. That was Seacroft Hotel. Here we go. So there we are, Seacroft Hotel. 1956 smash in here we go this is prince's house now it's flats back in 1956 it was the lions hotel right here on the seafront here we go right so anyway next one is just there victoria let me line it up well, actually, I don't have to line it up because this is the one where you haven't actually got the picture of the place itself. This is a photo taken from up here in the advert. Up the top there, one of those houses, or the old Esplanade Hotel possibly. Looking down, that's the one for the advert for the Victoria. Right, need to take a little break from our hotel session because we need to get to the other end of the seafront for the next one on the list. And of course, we mustn't forget the tables, formerly known as the Captain's Tables tables, outside of Venus. And that particular rendition 
was dedicated to Rob because we were talking about that at Spray Point. <laughs> and our next location is going to be Marina Court, which is the very last building on Padrum Terrace. Now this particular advert looks quite different, but you can tell it's the same because of the roof and that. When I line it up, you will anyway. It doesn't show Powder and Terrace, the rest of it. It's like it's on its own, but that's just how they've chosen to show it in the advert. But without further ado, let me line it up and show you what I'm on about. So here it is today. And here's what it looked like when it was a hotel in 1956. I love that one. So not showing the uh, powder and terrace for some reason, but very nice nonetheless. And the roof, exactly the same. Lovely. On to the last one now. And as for the final hotel on today's list from 1956, I'm sure that you'll acknowledge that I didn't really want to go all the way over to film it from there, because it's in Sholden, is the Ness House Hotel. Lovely. Ness House Hotel. Now, thank you very much to Big Bad Trev, who sent me those through. Smashing, much appreciated, mate. It's been a nice little segment. Thanks. And of course, if you enjoyed our little look around 1956 hotels, and you've got anything sort of similar, tucked away in a drawer, perhaps, I don't know, send it in to me. I'll put it up on the channel. Much appreciated, because the channel is a community effort now. And I do get plenty of submissions and some lovely photos that people would just simply never have seen otherwise. So it's fantastic. So thanks to everyone that contributes and thanks to everyone that's going to contribute in the future that I don't know about yet. <laughs> well, I'll start making my way back now. Been a nice little wander. Just got one errand to run in town. Nothing to worry about though. Quick and simple. And I think I'll time that just right because the liquid sunshine has just put in its first appearance of the day. There we go, there's Clive and his wife. Clive came on a walk with me. We'll be working out of the walk before he goes home. Smash in. Right, back on track. Back to my errand. Not working still. I was going to go and do an errand in the post office, but there's been a flood. So. Not today. Right, so errand cancelled due to flooding. I didn't think I'd say that in a video anytime soon, but there we go. That's what's happened. So it'll come through the window, not through the window, through the ceiling. Oh dear. So we get up and sorted soon. There's a seagull. Not right at the top today, but in prime location for stealing with food. Punch and Judy being set up. Hopefully the weather holds out for them. Hopefully, covering up all the stock outside due to the rain, potential, potential rain. One final look at the triangle before I head home and time to head home. Eagle eyed viewers will notice here at the Masonic Hall, that all the scaffolding that's been up for about the past month is now down, and the painting of the hall in its lovely blue colour is finished. Get a shot from across by the, by the anchor, looking back. There we go, all freshly repainted, looking resplendent. Very nice. And that came down on Wednesday, I believe, because I'm pretty sure when I walked past it on Wednesday, it was still up. When I came down for my Chinese curry, it had gone. So there we go. I think our time is just right as we are starting to get heavier drops of liquid sunshine. So I think I timed it just right. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope we'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same place. Take care. Bye.